the digital computer code metaphor. In the 1970s, it seemed reasonable, especially to physicists and astronomers who had begun to rely heavily on computers, to compare DNA sequences to digital computer code. Although each position of the DNA sequence has four possible values instead of two, those values are discrete, and when DNA is replicated without copying errors, as it usually is, the copies remain identical to the original, just as they are in binary computer code. But Stent argued correctly that this should not imply that the meaning or significance of DNA can be understood simply by translating its explicit nucleotide sequence. Stent was pointing out what embryologists had already known for decades, namely that there is more to the making of an embryo than a simple catalog of protein coding sequences of DNA. In fact, today we know that only a tiny fraction of the genomes of mammals such as cats, dogs, or humans consists of sequences that are transcribed into mRNA and translated into amino acid sequences of proteins. Not only that, Today we know that regulatory DNA sequences, which account for at least twice as much DNA sequence data as protein coding sequences, contain important pieces of the puzzle of how the complex organization of a cat is reproduced during development. Stent went on to argue that understanding the many-sided implicit significance of DNA sequences is critical to understanding the ways that genetic determinants interact during embryogenesis in the reproduction of complexity. Although Carl Sagan was one of our most gifted science communicators, he was not immune to the influence of the zeitgeist of the 1970s any more than any of us could be. But even though Stent could not anticipate the revolutionary discoveries that would eventually lead to evolutionary developmental biology, he did know enough about the nature of animal development to pinpoint the limitations of metaphors based on any explicit nucleotide sequence. Carl Sagan's Deeper Legacy but if Carl Sagan could not magically conjure knowledge that had to await later discoveries, one of the many things he did offer as a science communicator was a deep understanding of both history and the tenuous nature of democracy, truth, and the scientific method. The storyline of Contact, especially the 1997 film outlined by Sagan and Anne Droyan, dramatized several recurrent themes that have influenced the social history of science right up to the present day, including greed, political power, religious zealotry, and tribalism.